Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. So today I'm going to do uh, email crawler. Okay, I just I already started this on Python on PyCharm. Uh, well, if you don't have PyCharm on your machine, you can use a text editor, a Notepad plus uh, plus, Atom editor, Bluefish, any other. Okay, Visual, uh, Visual Studio Code or any other software a text editor you want. Okay, and I do three. Also, we can you can use so. Let's start. First of all, you have to install uh, two modules on on your system. Okay, on, I use Ubuntu for this. So for me, it's pip install requests. I already have installed, so it's going to say requirement are satisfied, and then RE, so it's also already satisfied. Oops, could not find the version that satisfies, but it's still anyway, it's running because I tested before. So let's just continue. If you don't have these models on your computer, just install it using pip pipe, okay? So let's import requests import or e you guys see is already on on my system so i don't need to worry about that now i'm going to create a fancy title so print uh, uh, oops. single quotes Email finder or email crawler or any other name you want to give to that, it's your problem. I don't care, actually, it's just fans. I also could print another line here to give some space between the title and the question, like um, right, Ctrl S, save. So now we're going to start the coding right so to crawl i will create a variable name to crawl i could use underscore or not okay i prefer to use to separate and then create a list oops go to attribute now uh on to crawl we have to append um the function we have to use the function append to add email or something to the list okay so to crawl dot append all right uh now we are going to use an input input uh here we can say enter the domain target the domain name domain target just domain target okay now what we are going to do is we are going to use a condition if why uh, we have to check uh, where it starts it starts with www and then we are going to add to the position zero okay so if to crawl uh, on the position zero Fuck I sorry it starts with and then we just add www right so to the up now we have to say to crawl on the position zero starts http then http or https doesn't matter so we have to say to crawl okay on the position zero it's equal http i use http because still we have on internet a lot of websites that don't use uh, ssl certificate all right so we'll just use like that and then plus to crawl 
on the position zero okay well now we say we are going to create another variable named crawled then set just to wait to be filled right so we have to create another variable uh, emails okay and then set also to be filled and printed later okay so now we have to use um, a header when we make some request to a website the, the web server gets the header of our browser right it's basically the information about the browser and computer okay so I'm going to use um, a, a browser where is it um where is it it's because uh, where is it i found on the internet so first of all header okay, we are going to header equal i found on google that and if you search on google for uh header user agent few websites is going to give you some options some models and some templates you can use i'm going to use one i found that it's mozilla slash five okay let me just open uh, yeah open close okay user agent and then here single quotes so i'm going to copy it all right i'm going to paste it right here you if you want type you can type it all right yeah you have to so or you can find in google and just control c control v i'm not a lazy guy all right but to make the video faster all right for some time so now we are going to create a loop for e in range 15 that's going to be the size of url right here url it's another variable that's going to get to crawl okay on the position zero we say try this try is going to make a request in the URL right rec and then request dot get we are going to get from the URL and the header right headers header so we have to make an exception here Accept. exception as e so use e for email print e okay and then to crawl now let me see how I stay on the cam because I'm a little pretty big guy so I have to be far from the computer so yeah it's okay sorry guys I'm just just myself remove we're going to remove the URL URL and then we are going to add to the crowd add URL what we are doing here so we are going to get these URLs uh, and we create a list to crawl all right and when it's finished crawling that URL this is going to send to the crawlet variable all right and this crawlet will will save temporarily 
this URLs for analyzing, right? So now we are saying continue. And then after it's adding to the crawled list, it's just going to continue to another one and another URL, to another one, to another one, to the end, right? So uh, here HTML equal rec dot text. Okay, and then now we are going to be linked to we are going to create a variable named links or e, e dot find all okay and then r for r for read and then a href on the href we are going to add this uh, slash uh, this is going to be hard to type so slash and then HTTPS to add also HTTPS to the crawler and then open here and here two times yeah and then open all right and then double quotes backlash and then single and then here and then this one and then another one here yep and then html html to the request so now we are going to create is going to give us some problems so emails I will change because I'm going to use another variable named emails right here. Email or e dot find all right and then the same thing r open slash right and then dot underscore close plus at open a underscore dot underscore yeah. <sighs> and plus again okay so underscore dot I'm just checking at dot yeah underscore and now here here yeah. all right and dot underscore yeah. uh, plus plus whml so here we are going to find all urls okay all the emails with at we can see it here right with dot okay so now we are going to say print print to the mails print Print the URL actually. Now, uh, to crawl, we have to remove again URL, okay, and then we are going to add to the crawl it again. Crawl it, add URL, okay. Uh, now uh, for another for loop, loop for loop for link links on the links list, we're going to say if 
link not in crowd and links not in to crawl. What we're doing here is say, hey, look for link on the crawl list and links into crawl. If it's not there, we are going to add, right? So to crawl append link right and then now it's going to be the last part of this so back here so here for email in emails emails found at email we are saying hey for the emails we found on the links we are going to add it to the emails found okay using the add function so now we have to print this print uh, and, and then um, plus it's fancy again okay emails found for email emails found print email so let's try let's see if it works yeah, you see the space we got in the title and uh, let me find an email. Well, I find a domain actually. starting to crawl you see you guys see that it's starting to looking for something looking for emails inside so let me check another um new york so you see here the logo has an ad into it so it got found also and then here with the widgets also and then we have the contact okay everything that has an ad on it it's going to be found so yeah um let me see other one another one here okay wait let me see here let me see if it works um, hillside auto. Hazard dot hill site auto com. Let's see, if it's going to work. Yeah, it's working also. So, this crawler works perfectly. Okay, uh, well, it's a very simple one. There is no big deal on this. Okay, probably uh, in the future I'm going to change, make it better. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. And if you like, subscribe to my channel. Okay, give a like and help me to grow and share this video and this channel with your friends. And see you guys on the next video.